Duke University. In that red Duke Chapel's new dean is Luke Powery. Both a scholar and practitioner of the African-American preaching tradition, Powery comes to Duke from Princeton Theological Seminary, where he taught homiletics. He is the chapel's first dean who is black. In an office hours conversation, he describes how he's coming to understand the chapel's role, his approach to preaching, and what him has been in his head since arriving on campus. Here I am, Lord. You know, is it I, Lord? Um... You know, here I am, Lord, is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. Being called and even coming to Duke and that sense of here I am, Lord has been playing through the iPod of my life. Duke Chapel, uh, for me, is about people um, and not necessarily the building, even though we appreciate it and are grateful for the wonderful um, architectural genius of Julian Abel and the others. There's a sense that at the end of the day, what we're about or should be about um, in Duke Chapel is the people that come in the doors and the people that may never walk into the doors. It's a place of learning, but also piety. And how do we foster that integration um, to have a holistic vision of the human person? How do we begin to do that? I think to continue some of the things that we already do, to try to find ways to be an integrating point between various schools at the university. For me, I think another area that I see which is very prominent here is the music, obviously. But to even begin to expand the aesthetic, so the arts, the spiritual and the arts, how might that facilitate one's own, if we say the knowledge, of the world, of God, of one another. You know, even as I've bumped into people I don't even know, people have said, you don't know what this means for you to be here. And these are people of color. Um, and I think I'm learning what that means. I would hope to be, I think, I, I think I've said this elsewhere, that I would be, even my presence would be a sign of hope. But can anything good come out of the Bronx? where I was born. I grew up in Miami, in urban areas. Can anything good come out of Miami Norland High School where violence was rampant? And I tried to avoid, I tried to go to another high school but couldn't for a variety of reasons. And um, can anything good come out of Durham, you know, to our young people out there? Um, as they ask Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And uh, yes, the answer is yes. Materiality of faith is wrapped up in the incarnation in which God embraced the body. The sermon begins in prayer. The sermon is a prayer. But it's a place of looking, what's the intersection of um, Scripture, the Bible, the Word of God, um, in that way, and our everyday lives? And for me, a sermon is just an offering. The pulpit is an altar, and um, we offer it, and we have to let it go. And the future of the Word is, is up to God. I always carry spirituals, um, and not only because I've written on them, but because they ground me in the reality of life and human suffering, keeps me connected to the uh, jaggedness of life. And one of the ones, and this is not a statement on my time at Duke, <laughs> but it, it's one that, you know, sooner will be done with the troubles of the world. Um, the troubles of the world, the troubles of the world, sooner will be done uh, with the troubles of the world, going home to live with God. And I, and I think of those who have experienced loss, um, people that we know, just in recent weeks, and constantly, even meeting me on Sunday morning, greeting me, 
someone lost a child. So, you know, and to the sense of yearning that that song takes in the verse, no more weeping and wailing. I mean, no more. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu. Weeping and willing.